The following is a non-profit fan dub. The Adventure Zone is owned by the McElroys, Carrie Peach, and First Second Books. Links in the description to support the official release, Brave Adventurers. I cannot believe you guys aren't totally dead. Magic Brian is one of the most accomplished, powerful wizards I have ever encountered. I am flabbergasted, frankly, that we all did not perish. You're welcome, I guess? We're pretty much rad. If you'll excuse me, I need to recover something very quickly. None of you leave. Hold up, hold up. Before you go anywhere, what the hell is this all about? I promise. I will tell you as soon as I am literally able to. Listen, I have a little bit of magical expertise. I assume this static shit when you talk is some sort of curse? Prevents further discussion from taking place. You assume wrong. Super duper wrong. Slow fall spell. Yeah, guess that. Really slow fall spell. Kinda anticlimactic, but whatever. AFK! Awesome flaming kobolds? Angry fighters kill? Away floats Killian. Uh, how are you feeling? Well, I smoke three packs a day, I drink a six pack a day, and then eat the bottles. I've been eating insulation for years. That's not good. Yeah, I'm real fucked up over here. I can't believe Lil' Cousin Merle and his pals saved me from Magic Brian. Why is everybody so shocked? Where's Barry, by the way? Oh, he's good. Hanging out back at the bar. He said he had to wait for his order of chicken wings and then he'd meet right up with us. Ha! Typical Barry! So, little dude, why was Magic Brian wanting all of your blood? Come on and I'll show you. This dungeon didn't look quite this big in the brochure. Wow, haven't seen anything like this before. Yes, yes, you're in another big awesome room with a big awesome door. Sue me. Or make a perception check. Ooh, dibs! What did you find, Valiant Taco? Nothing! Not a damned thing! Just some corpse in a robe holding... Hmm. Hey you, dwarf! There's a cane here to check out. Detect the magic. Come on, is that really the best you can do? Detecto magic coal. Oh, far out. You cool, dude? Feeling kinda wacky, this cane. It's all schools of magic. All of them are crammed in there. You should probably wrap it up in something when you pick it up. Maybe the robe? I think I know how to handle. Oh, golly! No! Oh, fuck! turn! <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute! Let me paint a picture of what just happened. Merle grabs it, gets blasted across the room, takes damage, and you go, my turn? And just go for it? I live like I'm dying. <laughs> so, now I have... An umbrella. I'll be such a baby. Hey, pal. I saved all your asses. I killed the big spider. You were a projectile. What the shit? What was all that lightning about? And a magic umbrella? You guys are off the hook. Handle it. That's how we do. All right. You guys deserve some answers. Yes. And some money. Right. <clears throat> My father. Wait. Hold on a second. I think it's important to get the truth out of my cousin here. You want to beat it out of him? No! I have a thing called... Zone of Truth. Sure you do. No, no, it's a great idea. Go for it. If I were you, I would try to do it under your breath. Oh. Hang on. I have to sneeze. Ah. Yeah. Let's use our truth! Did 
you just cast some sort of magic spell on me? Yes, I cast Zone of Truth, which forces you to only say true statements. No one within the area of effect can resist its power. Including yourself. Including my... S Damn it. I don't really cotton to that. I don't cotton to you sending us on a mission to get our asses kicked. I don't cotton to getting shot and mauled by wolves. And I really don't cotton to stumbling across dead relatives every whip stitch. I stole a bunch of gold! <laughs> I was just getting ready to say Bogart needs to pay us because we haven't found any gold this whole time. But then I blurted out that I stole a bunch of gold! I'm having a great time in this adventure, and I like how we're getting closer as friends. Even though I think Merle is a bit of a dick. You know, those loafers look weirdly familiar. We stole the magic loafers too! It's true, we did. They were so cool, we couldn't help ourselves! You stole Kegel's magic loafers. And he's dead! And so is Dor. I don't care. Keep them. They were both morons. So, let me tell you about this vault. Grab your bags of holding, kitties. Here comes Bogard's audition monologue. Years ago, a horde of orc marauders attacked Haverdale. It wasn't really the town they cared about. Those shitheads wanted the mine, and the mystic ore, and all the artifacts made of that mystic ore. My father, your uncle Merle, was head of security for the mine. He grabbed all the magic gear and ore and squirreled it away in the vault. Only my father's blood could open the vault and those damned orc marauders knew it. So he did the only thing he could do. He courageously locked himself inside the vault, sadly sacrificing his life to keep it all out of those bastards' filthy hands. Wait a second. If he sacrificed his life, how do you know that's what happened? And for a zone of truth, you sure are using a lot of adjectives. Courageously? Sadly? Seems a little subjective. You want truth? This is my truth! But this is why he wanted my blood. To open the vault after all these years! You know what else might work? Your blood? Well, I was gonna say pee. He could pee on it. Could that do? It would be awesome if one of us could cast some kind of light spell. He means you. No shit. Lavender. Very calming. It's like... black glass? Something's not right. No shit, genius. Bro! Oh, I won't leave you hanging! <laughs> Good going, dipshit. <sighs> That's about three damage. Totally worth it. No, 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 no! So the dwarf-shaped charcoal briquette his father, right? Yep, that's gotta be my uncle. He doesn't seem real torn up about it. My family is pretty fucked up. This vault is supposed to be filled with magical weapons and armaments! Where is all of it? I don't understand! Hey, hey, calm down there, bucko. What? Did I tell you? I told you guys to stay put! We got bored, you were gone for four hours. It was like a minute and a half! Why do you not listen to me? Oh no. None of you tried to high five that thing, did you? Are we still in the truth circle thing? No, that was back in the other room. Then, no? God, no. You would have to be a complete idiot to high five that thing. I don't know about that. Are you guys here with this filthy orc? Whoa, hey! Let's cheese it with the racism, Bogey! Did you just call me filthy? Come on now, let's build bridges, not walls! Okay, Bogey, why don't you dial down the hate a tad? And let me have the gauntlet. This gauntlet and everything in this vault is my birthright! There's no way I am giving this up to you! Don't <laughs> test me. I've had a really long day. I got all webbed up in that other room and I hated that. Boys, you've served me well. I have one last job for you. I need you to take her out. Nobody is taking anybody out. Count the ten or something. Bogard, do you know why this room is empty and there's a gauntlet on that dude's hand? That dude was my father! 
And no, I don't know why it's the only thing in the vault. But I know that it's mine! Gillian, do you know what that thing is? I have a pretty good goddamn idea, yeah. That is the whole reason I was sent here. To stop Magic Brian from getting the- See, it kind of sounds like someone frying bacon while playing the maracas. I would kill for some bacon right now. Tell me about it. Listen, whatever your name is. You do not know what you're dealing with. You're done here. Done. Step. Off. Or... Here's a better idea. No! If anybody cares, I totally saw this coming. The grabbing the fire, the dying, the whole nine yards. Totally saw it. Except, he's not dead. Okay, that's kind of unexpected. I... feel... Pretty? Oh, so pretty? Pretty and witty and bright? No! I feel... Alright everyone, listen to me very, very carefully. We need to back up slowly and get away from that fiery dwarf now. Come at me! If it's any consolation, I saw that coming too. I'm done with this! That went about as shitty as it could have possibly gone. What are you talking about? I almost had him! Of course you did, kitten. Listen, I've got to stop him before he destroys the whole world. And I'm gonna need your help to do it. Don't get me wrong. This is way above your pay grade. Your chances of surviving are slim to none. But you're all I've got. Are you down? Sure. Yeah. Why the hell not? <laughs>